Sure, it looks like your bike's right next to the other bike. If that was the case, why did you stop? I was dealing with two dipshits on bikes, and then I was dealing with this guy who was on a bike. Just, just a bunch of dipshits on bikes today, dude. Hello everyone, welcome back to DOJ. Jumping in here with the San Andreas Highway Patrol in the 2013 Ford Explorer. For some reason, I just really wanted to use these front lights and the um, bottom fog lights. They just, they're, they're super appealing, I don't know why. Uh, it's kind of like the ones that you get on the 16 Explorer uh, and all that fun stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into it. Got a busy week, so I'm just trying to get some videos done. So we are in the cat. I'm gonna go 10-8, gonna go ahead and get all of that stuff unmuted. I believe there was a signal 100. Yes, there is a signal 100, which means there's some type of priority going on. Although, when I was setting up, I didn't hear much radio traffic, so I'm not sure as to why there is a signal 100. But, I guess in the end, we shall find out if we listen to the radio here for a minute. So, we're gonna head uh, northbound Palomino Freeway. I believe it's gonna be Blaine County. So yeah, we'll head uh, northbound Palomino Freeway. Probably try to work some of the highway beats, but I'll also probably go into Route 68. I don't know, maybe it would be cool to work like just the Route 68 sector. I have the wrong fucking skin on this. Fuck. Hold on. Uh, we're supposed to put it on 510. It breaks down in sections. 540 is Polito. White male. What the fuck? Um, Polo it out. So it looks like they've lost the suspect from whatever's going on. Ooh, that was sketchy. We were going right towards the wall there. I wasn't sure if we were going to make that. So, as we were saying before, I think it would be cool if we kind of just... You know, not the whole episode, but... A good majority of it, we stuck on Route 68. Kind of did a Route 68 all the way down. Great Ocean Highway. Red and black motorcycle. All units be advised... Red and black. Zulu, signal 100 has been left over Zulu RTO. Okay, so right now that's a little concerning. We have a red and black motorcycle out on the, um, out in the uh, world right now. In the world, there it is. Out in uh, San Andreas, and he shot two cops, and it's in correlation with the two cops that are down. So basically, if we find that guy, it's going to be a. Yeah, they're going to. They're requesting for a 32 because. Oh, shit. That's not good at all. He might have him. Further information. Is he uh, has a plaid shirt and jeans on? That's a negative. They might have black that guy. Black shirt, blue jeans, or blue jeans. Okay, shirt. nope. Looks like you don't have to worry Five. right now, but that could have got real bad. So we're going to go Route position. 68, and I'm going to go all the way down Additional Route 68, because they have something on GOH. We might be set up now. for something uh, relatively good here if we're on Route 68, and we can patrol that sector, so. If you that also. I was trying to put it in shared notes, but it deleted. I love the uh, curves I of... I, 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 I mean, there's not much curves on this one. Yeah, there it is. Fuck, I don't have the CHP siren in. Son of a bitch! Why? I put it in, too. I fucking put it in. Son of a fucking turtle. Okay, so that's a bummer. Um, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna have to get out and put it in because that's just how you guys already know what's up when I do that shit, so. Uh, no point in saving that thing. We might as well just go off to the side. At least my indicator fixed itself, so I know if I'm recording or not. Oop, didn't mean to do that. So, let me go ahead and get the siren fixed, and we'll be right back. Okay, so. Now we have the fucking HP siren in, so I have to just get a few more things set up, even though I was fucking 110% set up last time, so that's fucking fantastic. Alright, let's get... Our weapon, HP, and then we're gonna stop at the gas station down the road, because I gotta get motherfucking gas, even though I already did that shit. So yeah, now that we got the HP siren in, we're 110% good to go, and that's all that matters. God, those lights are bright! He has to have high beam wozers. I was not expecting that HP car to, or the SH fucking BCSO car. This guy just jackassfully pulled out into traffic here. That was cute. What is he doing? 
Hey Charles, 948 10 11. I'm gonna be 263 route 68 on a two door coquette class. Bro, get the. F Bro, you need to get in your car and move it out of the road. Okay, okay. Dude, how much more fucking ignorant can you get? Yeah, I'm giving him the benefit oh, of the I doubt here because I just got on duty and really don't want to do the paperwork, but I'm about to. I heard that. He's doing fucking wheels in the road and shit, being stupid. Alright. Okay, so this guy. I'm just gonna uh, let dispatch know. One King 24 dispatch. Oh, he's probably out of channel. Okay, cool. Alright. Hey man, what are you doing? Why are you out of the car doing wheelies in the street and shit? Uh, it's, it's been acting up a bit, and that's all. That doesn't explain why you're doing wheelies in the seat, street and then parking in the middle of the street. Oh, uh, the engine was acting up, that's why I was parked, uh, trying to get it off the road. But, uh, no, it seems every time I do a wheelie, it messes up a bit, trying to fix it. Hence why I'm near the, uh, repair shop. We're, we're working on it, but, uh, you know, hopefully it gets better. Okay, well, what you need to do is not drive on the road and go over that patch of dirt and go onto the dirt road. So that way, if you do break down, you don't break down in the opposite lane of fucking traffic. Okay, okay. Okay, have a good day. You too. Anyone need to devise a bolo for a I don't know pass, why people you know, think that it's a good idea to, you know, it's like, I understand you're trying to fix I'm your sure car, but... Shit, you got a whole dirt road right there that's just all, it literally has your name on it. Enjoy it, like... This car is badass, though. Route 68, I think they had someone stopped here in the gas station, or uh, the... Just somewhere over here when we first spawned in, but I guess they... Already got out of that, let's go to turn on the hazards, turn off the hazards. So, like I was saying before, we had to get out of game. I would like to work the uh, Route 68 beat, so that means all the way up and down. And I think we could get a good amount of stuff, because um, if if stuff's popping off on GOH, and then, or if something pops off down here, chances are not a lot of people, well they do run off to the, you know, eastbound part of the map, but most times they could run to the west, and if they do, we're set up in a good position, because it's that like, if someone's really trying to get away, uh, they're most likely going to try to dip westbound to the Great Ocean Highway, just because it's a little easier of an escape than going on the main roads of the 13 to the east, so... Doesn't usually work. But I'm down to see if we can get anything good, because we usually never work these areas. Usually we just uh, do the highway when we are our highway, but they have jurisdiction here, so we might as well patrol the area that they have jurisdiction on, see if we can try to find any cool spots down on the yonder over here. Which I'm sure there's a ton of good, like, dirt roads that kind of pop out onto the side and stuff. Like, there's one right here around the corner. If you really wanted to catch someone on Route 68 that's speeding onto Route 68, that might be a good spot to do so. It's just, unfortunately, they don't have many jagged hills to where when someone goes around the corner, that's kind of it, you know? It's like, ah, shit. There's just a lot of open, flat land. That guy looks like he has zero headlights on, but he did. So on the other side of that, um, construction thing, even though it is on the, um, under a light, but it would work. A lot of people like to sit down by the, uh, shops here on Route 68. That's a decent spot, but again, you're up on an elevated hill, so the chances of someone seeing you when they're making their way down the road would be pretty easy, honestly. Oh my god. There is... Some mountain lion, or that bunny Probably. just made a growling noise. I'm not exactly sure which one it was, but I'm a little scared right now. If that bunny just made a growling noise, we got some fucking... We got some motherfucking rabies rabbits. What's up, little guy? Oh my god, there's like a flock of them. Could have sworn I heard some type of growl, though. I'm gonna take a look because we've been getting a lot of a uh, wildlife attacks, and that's the last thing we want is people who are hiking or biking. There it is. Why'd that ride? Um, getting attacked by a mountain lion when they're walking down the road. Yeah. So just taking a good look. I don't see anything disturbing the uh, bunnies. They kind of just seem to be chilling, honestly. So I think we're good. 
That explorer looks slick with the fucking takedowns on. See, I heard it again. It's like someone... Is it the bunnies coughing? It might be. It's eating right now, which it actually has dirt that comes up when its face hits the ground. I think that is it. I've just never heard a bunny before. Usually they frolic off and do their own thing. That's so calm right now. Yeah, it's definitely making noises. That's weird. I mean, it's not weird to make noises. I've just never heard it make noises in the game. Holy shit. I think it's purring. Alright, we're gonna do a beat run down Route 68. I pulled over really quick to, uh, clarify something, but I think we were all good now. So, ooh, that's a nice little dugout. I like that. That's actually not bad at all. We could catch speed, um... I don't know how we would be set up here. It'd be, well, that bush is gonna get mad obnoxious, I could tell you that. At least we can visibly see if someone's speeding this way. Um, and then... Catch him with the radar going the other way. I'm gonna take that hat off though, cause that shit is fucking up. Instead of me posting up and immediately doing, um... Radar spots, I think I wanna do beat runs where I just go all the way down 68. Wrap all the way back up 68 to like, uh, the freeway. You know what I mean? Do one nice big sweep, that way we have... The area fully under control, we know what's going on. We'll even pull into the gas station here. Make sure everything's good. Just kind of take a look off to the side. Because, again, not many units uh, pull in here to get gas. I mean, sometimes they pull in here to get gas, but not often. It is a non-used gas station. Not that much Probably used. Not. People in, like, mid-pursuit will stop here really quick, and that's pretty I much it. Control. Go, ahead. Go ahead and turn left here. Go ahead, Tango 151. I got a 1011 on... So yeah, we'll rock it back up Route 68 eastbound. See if we can get anyone coming towards us. We're probably gonna have to bounce in and out of cars here, because these motherfuckers on this road, for some reason, they go 30 miles per hour. And it's a little ridiculous. It's quite annoying, honestly, so... I don't, I don't condone doing that, but... Oh my god. I could pull them all over for going 20 miles under the speed limit, you know what I mean? Like, that's a little fucking absurd. I don't know why GTA fucked up. You know what I guarantee it happened is... It, the AI was going too fast on those curves, and it kept making them spin out. So they had to slow them down, because that's the only way they can maintain this curvy-ass road that they have. And you'd be like, well, that's interesting, because they smash down other roads, but they don't even stop at the stop sign. Are you fucking stupid? Come on. Get your shit together. Should totally have pulled him over. We should have, but he's already gone. Fuck it. This guy was right in my ass. I don't know if he almost hit me or what. I wonder if we still have that bolo on that black and red bike. Ooh, he gets cut the fuck off though. That's what happens when you ride the ass of a fucking police car. He's chilling now. He's a little more calm and tame. I think I'm gonna go ahead and pass this guy up. Okay, control the 1K24. Go ahead. I got you to pull down to the location for a second one more press, sir. Go ahead. Then I'm going to start a key there for a 79 line. Uh, 10-9 location for 1K24, please. Alright, we're getting it. It's going to be East Joshua Road, Postal 311. 1K24, you receive. Copy, direct. Check. All guards, we've Okay, we, we got a th uh, 31 request. Or no, 32 request? I think he said 31, but I believe he meant 32. Uh, so we're gonna get down that way. That motorcycle is down this way as well, too. So I'm not sure... I, I caught him on my radar going 62. That's not too bad. That's 12 over. I was probably going like 65 myself. But we gotta get down to 311, where a call just came out. Again, it's I believe it's gonna be a 32 request, even though he said 31. I'm not entirely sure. I don't think I've been attached yet. Pretty sure that's coming soon. I, I know there's a lot going on right now. Oh, he's getting chased. You motherfucker. He just fucking hit my car. He kicked it. I got a 1080. I'm gonna be going westbound route 68. 
Buggy 24 secondary, this will be westbound Route 68, this will be on a black and red motorcycle with a whiskey mic. Fucker kicked my car. Come for him or Yeah, that was the same one. I just didn't know if they handled it or not. Oh, we almost hit him. I might just hit him off the bike. We might just have to kill this motherfucker. If he's wanted this much. Monkey 24, we're westbound Route 68 still. Continuing past uh, 226. Go, 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 go. Fuck! Well, that's cool as shit. Just smash the fucking car that decided to cut me off. Great. That was the beat I was supposed to be fucking working to, so now I'm fucking... Alright, so I'm going back to get a new motherfucking car, and I still got a recall, call somewhere else, but they got a helicopter unit and shit. Damn it, I was secondary in that, and that stupid bitch pulled out in front of me. Because they have no sense of fucking awareness when it comes to... It's funny, because you could be driving any other car and they won't do that, but as soon as you have fucking lights and sirens, they decide to act like a dumbass motherfucker. And I was about to tell the primary, I was like, you might want to go ahead and bounce out of here because your fucking internet is not doing too good. And then, of course, as soon as that happens, he calls himself out. I look up at that car, and then that's all she wrote, so... Fucking fantastic. Okay, we got ourselves a new car. I still gotta get down to this other scene. Uh, I'm gonna let them know that I'm just 23. They already lost an individual. I believe they're gonna call it 10-0. Which, I'm if he was getting that to the, brazen... To the unit super, super motorcycle. He's gonna be going back eastbound on 68. He's coming eastbound 68. He's coming back this just way. Joshua. Yep. He's, uh... Definitely going to be <laughs> causing issues. So it's not going to be the last time we see them. But if they're not even here at this call, I might... Uh, oh no, they're still there. They might have another unit here. I'll see if they're good. Are you guys good here? Sick of it. Uh... This is where no, I originally got called out asked. from. Yeah, both civs are requesting you. Uh, this guy you behind traffic. me is under arrest for yeah, failure to identify. Um, and he requested you first, so... Requesting me, you. as in a requesting a supervisor? Sir, if I do right? say so myself, it's never stopped. Okay, I, I clarify my question yeah. first. Going northbound, Panorama. Say again. I said, were they requesting me, or did they request a supervisor? They requested a supervisor. Okay, just wanted to clarify. Go ahead. Who even are you? I, that's a damn good thing. I want to make sure. Well, anyways, my friend was stopped here for his head date. So I stopped with him because we were riding together. We died together. You know, Uncle Sam. We fight Get together. Get to the point. So, I stopped, and then... My friend is off the bike, because and then this guy right mind. here on my right tells me to get off and says I'm being arrested for failure to identify, but I was never stopped. So I don't understand. I believe he was hit well, it sure looks like a traffic stop to me. A crime. But I was not stopped. If you ask the officer initiated, he stopped my friend, not me. Well, sure looks like your bike's right next to the other bike, so if, if that was the case, why did you stop? Because my friend, we fight together. We okay, so then go down together. So that's how it works in the real world? No, but if you're going to sit there and not take off in a traffic stop that you know you weren't a part of, but then sit there and complain when you actually get... Uh, because you weren't in the traffic stop. Stop playing dumb, dude. But I was minding my own business. It doesn't matter. So then you pull forward. Get out of the way. Oh, so they can chase me and shoot me? You weren't in... The, you already said. Don't... See, this is the thing. I will not waste my time and sit here and talk with you if you can't even remember what the hell you're saying in your own conversation. Do you understand? I do. I do remember. Obviously, you don't, Mr. Arthur. I remember because you just told me. You're the one that's telling 13 different stories, so you don't know what the fuck you're saying, and that's getting a little aggravating. So, if you weren't a part of the traffic stop, why did you not pull forward? 
Why? Because other than that, be shot. Why would you even think you're going to be shot if you already told me that you weren't in the traffic stop? So why would you even be in handcuffs? Don't you see the news lately? I'm not here to talk about the news. Aren't we talking about you? Well, of course, but I'm giving you background. I don't need background because those situations have no association to you at all because we're in this situation right now. So don't not pull a situation that has absolutely nothing to do with this right here. Well, has everything to do with it? No, it doesn't. I'm telling you it doesn't. I'm telling you that you're wasting time because if these guys already have a charge that they want to place on you for whatever it is, you can fight that in court. A false charge? You can go yeah, ahead and you can put it in court. I don't care. That's why we have a court system, not a side of the road legal system. Court system. Oh, so you can just arrest anybody you want and you fight it in court, eh? Is that how it works? If that's how you want to interpret it, that's on you. Well, that's just how you said it, eh? I said that's how. If that's how you want to interpret it, that's on you. You could be arrested for anything. If you want to do the he said, she said, that's what court's for. So that's what's court for, eh? Yeah, because I, I, I think, think it's funny that you assume that I'm the one arresting you. I have no idea what these guys are arresting you for, and that is their job and duty to need to do their job and duty. I just told you what they were arresting me for, and you didn't listen, see? You're not a very good listener. I don't need to pay attention to that stuff because it's not my arrest. Well, obviously you don't. I have officers being shot, and you think I want to sit here and listen to you. And you think I want to be arrested over this? Alright, alright. Do me a favor, just let's move away from the roadway. I can hear a bunch of sirens and I believe it's not going to be pretty. So let's move away from the roadway. But other movie going to shoot me. So right now, you are playing the victim card so much, it's sad. Red and black cockatoo, motorbike. What kind of that thing wrong, officer? Careful, don't lift your toe. We'd hate to have to shoot you. Exactly. Uh, Alright, go ahead and put him in a car, do what you gotta do, get him out of the street. Oh, of course. Uh, put me in the car for a crime I did not commit. To, Again, I don't know what I don't know what their investigation is. So you see don't. what the funny part is is your friend over there is being extremely cooperative and not sitting. No, actually not moving, not talking. Oh, He's standing right next to his bike, like a, a citizen should be doing that respects Still the police. Be because if oh. he respects us, we respect, we respect them. The police, of course I respect the police, but I don't respect people that don't know how to do their jobs. Well, again, I don't know what their investigation is. And it's funny how well, he started moving almost there. immediately after I said that. Not my fault nobody searches properly. All right, you guys can conduct your investigation. Go back over to your bike. No one said come over here. I just want to go make back sure over to the okay bike. No okay. one said come over here. Okay. Go back yeah, over to the sir. bike. No one said come over here. Uh, All right, come, come over here and stand by and explore, please. Okay, come over. No, do not follow here. Now you no, got my attention. Explore, sir. Drive away, yeah. Sir, you're going to So, get the... Get back! What are you doing? Why are you following me? They told me to come here with you. No. You're being so... You're already going to jail, so I don't know why you're making it worse, dude. Oh, man, you're so stupid. You're going to kill. Yeah, you're so stupid. No, you're stupid. No, you're stupid. Hey, hey, grab him and take him back to the car. both of you drop it now. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. They don't know what they're doing. Passing the gas station, coming up to the 60. <laughs> drag him back right now, because uh, they're coming through here. Drag him back. Of course. Okay, oh, sir. Yeah. coming through here. What's going on? Why is why are you guys being so difficult? I'm not being difficult. So, are you the one that got pulled over? Yes, sir. He pulled me over. We are already settled it. So, why is he being arrested? Oh, because uh, the other officer came in, uh, my friend didn't want to give him his name, so he committed no crime, and then he's arresting him uh, for failure to identify. When he doesn't have to. You can around me. Okay, sit on your bike, don't move, alright? They're gonna finish up with you. No, I'm pretty done, sir. Okay, then if you're good, then go. Hey, he's good to go, right? Name and badge number. Passing the youth, continuing north. He's good to go, right? Are you good to go, sir? Are you good to go? Yeah, we're good. We're good.
Not him, the guy on the bike up there. Oh, are you good to go? Yeah, he's good. He's okay, good. I told him he could leave. Coming up to the Joshua Cross. All right, watch your head. Okay, they're going to be coming this way. They're going to be going Cross this over. way. Northbound, southbound lanes of 13. Northbound, southbound lanes of 13. I see the helicopter right there. So I'm going to be en route to attempt to assist. It's a vehicle now. Fuck it. He's going so fast. Walking 24 bike unit, you go out of pass. Coming into Sandy. Go, 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 go. Go, I'm in the dirt. You got more traction. Go. Fuck. Oh, he just 10 50 It's out. It's done. Do you see the brakes that the helicopter just put on? That was fucking gangster. He slammed the brakes on that. Who is that? 10-50, 10-50. Ten seventy. Where is he? Next to some of those crates and is continuing. So he has to be right. Uh, now he's found it is Sandy. Near Panorama. Taser. Taser appears to be successful. Okay, they got him. It's gonna be right over yeah. here. Panorama and Joshua. Containers. Subject's raising his hands, he had one at gunpoint. Go, 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 go! New final stop is going to be near the abandoned motel, uh, 274 near Panorama. Check, 274 Panorama, abandoned motel. Okay, they got him. This is the guy that killed two, uh, cops. Us. You! 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 Put Where's your, your hands up! Right yeah, now right. you're going to get Where's shot, dude. Where's your boss? Oh shit. Okay, someone's updating. That shit hurts. Walking 24, taser deployed. He's cooperating right now. I want your boss. I want your boss. I give up, but I want your boss. Turn around. Get down the ground. Turn around. I'm going to tase you again, dude. Turn around. I'm going to tase you again. Turn around. I want to speak to the boss. There is no fucking boss. I don't know why they say that. What the fuck? Let me speak to the boss. That's all I want. Yeah, no one needs to go hands to on. No, no, no. I want to talk to him now. Dude, no, if you move, no, you're gonna no. get hurt. You move. I'm gonna change you again, dude. I gotta put my gun down because uh, I don't want to shoot that guy. Be advised, one subject 1015 at this time. Ah. Fuck you. Check your advise one of Oh shit. Oh, that Taurus looks slick in the shadows. All right, get this helmet off and so we can see what it is. They want to cut the activity one. Wow, that was, uh, that was, <laughs> I, <could> <laughs> I was dealing with two dipshits on bikes, and then I was dealing with this guy who was on a bike, and it was just, just a bunch of dipshits on bikes today, dude. Holy shit. Right, go in session, Lucky 24. Sorry, 10-9. Do you still require the signal 100 to be in effect, or y'all safe? Negative, negative, you could lift signal 100 and uh, air units clear. Check. Our cars be advised at 251. Our cars are going to continue down working. Uh, be advised uh, that the traffic stop at this point earlier, he was talking that as soon as you Can you start 1052 to my location, 311 East Joshua Road, for a tasing deployment, please? Okay, thank you. Check, I'll be kind of 52 on ITA. Yep. Hey, bro. Uh, That's the most un-fucking un warranted piece of information ever. <laughs> God, the way we rolled up was slick as fuck. I got hella dirt on my car. Those pods look blue. What the fuck? They did from that like exact position. That's so strange. Another time. I've never seen that before. He crashed. Did he crash? Panorama and Josh okay. 275. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so in the back, do you need any kind of medical okay. attention or anything? Um, they have... I landed in a bush. That's that guy. My leg hurts okay, a little so bit, but other than that, I'm good. Okay, so I'm gonna keep this locked down just for right now, because I don't... You know... 
Okay. We got a lot of shit going right. on. I'll uh, clear off um, in a second because so yeah, I'm clear. Just, uh, go ahead and find out what his name is, and uh, we can get this uh, run in the system. And Damn, that helicopter the, uh, shadow is sick. You know, um, he might be possibly related to the officer killing that happened up by the UH. I'm gonna open this up, it's getting bad. That guy just drove over that guy's trailer. <laughs> that was great. He killed my brother. Oh yeah. Um, I'll go for one five nine. People rolled the fuck up in this bitch, dude. Okay, so... I think we got enough units here. I'm gonna go 10-8 since, uh, no shots were fired. Only tasers were deployed. I'm gonna go this way. And we gotta go wrap, uh, Route 68. That was our area of patrol, which surprisingly... shit popped off on Route 68, like I said, but we got called out a little bit on Joshua there. Which kind of made us go off our patrol area, but if we would have been stationed on Route 68, that guy would have smashed up and down Route 68. But then again, we weren't equipped from the get-go. We had an explorer. I was able to turn around on him pretty quick, but I didn't know they had a bike unit. So... That bike unit's gonna be able to do way more damage than we'll be able to do ever. I'm going to go, um... To the Route 68 in Joshua Corner and try to get my car cleaned up a little. I'm not sure if it looks shitty on someone else's screen, but I believe I might have jumped up some, like, berms and dips and dives and shit like that, potholes, so... Best to- damn, someone was going 78, that's probably a cop. Um, so it's best to get that fixed up, so we'll go ahead and do that. I could also clean it up, because it looks like it has shit thrown on the side, so that's always pleasant. But nonetheless, that was, uh, interesting. Uh, the guy that was following us, which I should have known, I should have known, I was paying attention, there was a black and red bike. But I had thought that they had already captured and took care of that. Um, but I guess they lost him, but no one else decided to pull him over as they passed him, the red and black bike. So, I'm not really sure what that was about, why everyone else chose to disregard that individual in the first place. Uh, but if I would have known that, I would have pulled over and immediately attempted a TED-11 and got a backup call. Well, I didn't know it, I just, I wasn't 100% sure that that was him. Actually, I'm good on gas, let's just go ahead and get a... Quick car wash. So yeah, if I would have known that would have been him, it would have been 20 times better, because I would have really been able to attack it and kind of go forth with it. But nonetheless, that was pretty epic. We were able to actually get the subject, so that was good. Walking 2-4, are you available? Yeah, 10-4. We have you in route. Any short PD-471 across. Copy, be out. Alright, so right now we're getting a, um, request for 71. Suspects uncompliant. I believe it's going to be the individual we had on the bike. Um, if that's the case, I don't know why he would be uncompliant. He literally murdered two cops and then ran from the police for a long time. So, uh, we'll have to see when we get there, but that's going to be the call status at this moment. It's going to be an uncompliant prisoner. Uh, which, you would think we've already had him arrested, how could he be uncompliant? It'd be nice if we had that, like, strap-down chair that they have in jails, where uncompliant people, you just strap them in the chair. That'd be fucking great. Couldn't do anything except talk. Too good. This golf cart just ate mad shit and is driving like shit. Hold on. I think that's a real person. Yep, it's one of those patriotic motherfuck- no, it's not. Yeah, it is. Wow, I can't believe you just hit my police car. Okay, well, on my screen you did. Where'd he go? Monkey 24 to air unit. Are you in Sandy Shores? Affirmative at this time. 24, can you come to uh, 296 area? I just had a golf cart uh, semi flee from me and I lost eyes. 10-4, I'll be overhead in about 5 seconds. Monkey24, I copy. He's gonna be, uh, I believe a blue golf cart. It's gonna be a guy in a patriotic outfit. Well, 20, that last unit would be advised. I had that... Uh, there he is. Uh, ...same golf cart running recklessly behind me while I was spawning go 3. Monkey24, I got him. Zancudo, um... 293, if I get another unit here to actually, there's one pulling out of the station. If you could just pull them over for me.
Okay, two four. Is this gonna be a ten eleven? Yeah, I got a seventy one request. So if that sheriff can come over here and I'll talk to him. Ten four, confirming Zane Kudo Avenue, postal two nine three, blue golf cart, page green open. Uh, it's gonna be two eight three now, Zane Kudo Avenue. Ten four two eight three. It's gonna be three Charlie three ten out with him. All right, he was driving Charlie recklessly. Um, lost control of the golf cart. I tried to catch up to him. He took a corner really tight. He went up the berm, kind of flew up, came back well, down. He hit my car, but I think that was desync, and then I lost eyes. Um, so he needs to. He has no tail lights. He was driving recklessly in a golf cart, and uh, he was also running when I had my lights on. I don't think he needs to be arrested for it, but. Just, that's Western kind of Charlie what it is. I gotta get to the station for a 71 request. Okay, I can take care of it. Okay, I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Yep. Stay safe. Roger. Okay. Do not move. I just uh, was getting the 1011 set up. I'm gonna be in route to the station. One mic. Not even. Like 30 seconds. 10 seconds. Why is there a bike on? Oh, well, that's okay. Four, three, Charlie, nine, ten. Status on the other call for service. Uh, I don't know what's up with that. Squad twenty is me. Let me tell dispatch really quick. Any medical priority one for one broken leg at this time. Yeah, I'll I'll be in there one second. I'm gonna let dispatch know about that bike that's on the side over there with its lights on. One second. Monkey 24 dispatch, if you could send a unit outside of uh, the police station in Sandy Shores, there's a police bike on its side with its lights on, if they can get it towed. Alright, so basically after you left, uh, kind of run about a bit, we ended up tasing him. Uh, and after that he hasn't dispatch said a word. We know he's not AFK, so. Okay, um, and then if you know, you know what you're gonna book him for, right? Police Department, there is reported uh, a... Yep, we know exactly okay, so then uncuff him, and then you put him in the system, and then you just put him in jail. Copy, show me 97 code 2. We don't well, know his name. What do they do? I think he's been talking. I heard him talk when I, when I rolled up. I plead the fifth. It's, uh... You plead the... You, go ahead. You plead the fifth. I'm gonna have a 10 11 for you. When his you're his we, number is 297. So, if you if you need to, you can take his fingerprint and you can fingerprint it and do it that way. So, well, he's literally not responding, responding to any commands or anything like that. We had to drag him up here. Okay. Well, like I said, it's if he's not responding, then you can just uncuff him and fingerprint him, get his name, and then you can book him in the system and hand him over to the intake team. The intake team. I thought that. Yeah, I I didn't. I was assuming something else. Yeah, it's just we don't really know what to do in this sort of situation. Yeah, so basically what I would do in this situation is i just fingerprint him. You uncuff him, have the guy behind the counter grab his hand, fingerprint it one hand, run it in the system, you get his name, and then once you have his name, we can put him in the our jail system with his actual name instead of John Doe, because that won't do anything. Alright. It'll go a lot easier if he just told us the name, but we can do it this way. I'll watch the door. Come and try it. I don't have a good test. I'm going to get my phone to scan. Alright, go ahead and just uh, put your finger on uh, this little scanner. When uh, you go and get your license at the San Andreas Department of Motor Vehicles, you have to give your fingerprint. So I'm I'm not sure why you no, would. Yes, you do. Uh, so I'm not sure why we just you'd associate that with the criminal activity, but okay. Because that's how it works. That's illegal. Five Victor four two two. If you could route this way as well, it's gonna be three six zero route thirteen southbound side. Copy. Whiskey 194 dispatch. Go ahead. Can I get a uh, 51 for this motorcycle on it? Guy wants to play games, but I'm not playing games, so. 10 4. Stand by. Another 71 request? There can't be. 
Okay, there's someone there for that police bike. I don't think it was going to disappear, so that's why I called a unit out, because I'm not sure where or why it would have been on the side of the road like that in the first place, but... I'm going to 10-8, just so that way I am clearing the cat in case they need me. I had a character over, just, uh, just go and uh, respond to chat for me. Of course, so give me one second, I'm trying to type. Thank you, one second. <laughs> I'm trying to type. 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 Alright, Mr. Raven, was it really that hard to not identify to a police officer when asked to? No, it was a fun because you can't charge me for nothing else, so ha 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 ha. Alright, well, you know, for not identifying to me, you're going to jail. You know that, right? That's okay. Anyways, so I might as well make it more fun because you're just corrupt a little boy, yeah? Alright, go ahead and get him in the system. I'm that's my boss behind Say it again, I can't hear you. Charlie 310. My channel a little bit clear. I'll be going to 7242. Get him in the system. Again, yeah, I told the officer to get him in the system so that way you could be brought to the other side. The other side? Do the dogs that have cookies? Yeah, whatever you want in there. Oh, the the cookie monster. Do you know how to do the jail system? On the three two door muscle car. Yeah, I was just in the other report. Okay. Great at this time. Step back Can to I the counter and turn around. Can I sit at the chair? Uh, turn around. No. Can I sit at the chair, Mr. Officer? No, you're not sitting in a chair. You're staying at the desk because you're about to be transported to jail. Transported? Where am I going? Letter, uh, to jail. I just said you're going to jail. Transported to jail. Did you know the method one black, one makes you sleepy? White, Not black, necessarily. And then one gray, oh, white. do you know from experience? No, but a lot of people that I've dealt with. So you're saying I could right. crack cocaine? That having a influence, eh? Yeah, you could the pull whatever five. you want, but if you pull a frickin' mad bite. Lucky 24. Hey, so, uh, 4, go ahead. No, you're good, man. Have a good day. Me 71 request. It was another 71. Postal 360. Three muscle cars. Outbound time. 360. Lucky 24, I copy. 360 route bound, route bound there. 472. Do like 472. Where the hell is 360? Oh. Probably gonna be northbound lanes. He's probably gonna have to figure out whose bike that is, like why they just left it on the side of the road. And the light's on too, that's the strangest part. I'm going. Ah shit, why did I do that? This would be a lot faster to go this way. Other unit advice. Forgot that it was uh, northbound, so we're probably going to want to go this way. We could access northbound easy instead of having to get off the freeway and turn around. Seems legit. Is it really? It wants me to turn left. Even, oh, uh, well, I guess it doesn't know what side of the freeway I want to go on. So this will be three muscle cars, northbound 13. Actually, southbound 13. Maybe we should have went the other way. Maybe the game is smarter sometimes. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Hey, you stupid bitch. Literally slammed on the brakes for no... And stopped. I like how GTA fucked that up bad. They put the stop sign all the way back there. I never noticed that till now. I always thought that a, you know, animal ran out. Oh, it is right there. Perfect. It's a very strange place to get stopped. Oh, that's a lot of fucking cops. A string to three Charlie nine two seven. Holy shit! I'm gonna just mark in the cat that I'm 23.
Are they still all in the car? Because that's a lot of cops. Due to, you know, your laws. I don't like this right? at all. You're you're pulling them over for excessive uh, San Andreas. Sorry. Hey, buddy. You're pulling them over for uh, the hawking, right? You, you do, you do understand that he was trying to get through, and he honked his horn and held it down at you. If you want to get him for a citation, get him for a citation. Go ahead and try that. Now, next to that, continuing on with that, all right, you can't come up to me just because I pulled over and start asking for everyone's hey, identification. Hey, can you just do me a favor and shut your mouth really quick? No. Yeah, shut your mouth, okay? And don't say another word until I tell this guy to turn his car off. Buddy, turn your car off for my officer's safety, okay? Bro, I don't turn think your I car off bottom. for my officer's yeah, safety. Just okay? listen to what I say. Not, not I know, and that's why I'm just telling them to start. Thank you, I appreciate it. Thank you for cooperating. Now I don't have to deal with you. All right, loudmouth. This side of the road. So you no, you're not. No, yet? I don't want to hear you yet because I want to go to this side of the road. Just best to ask you. Could I get you over this okay. um, 1011 on 13? So now, if you want to go ahead and explain of calmly course. what's going on here, I'd love to listen. If you do whatever you were doing on the side of the road, it's going to be completely different. Yeah. Yeah. No problem. All right. So basically, all I'm trying to do now is get away from here. Basically, we're trying, trying to go down to the city. We've been trying to go down to the city. Uh, we're doing a muscle car okay, meetup. Well, um, we're trying to get all these cars of course down to the city now um we pulled out of the dump up there and when we did um this bike unit right there um went ahead and was driving i did a left turn to get on to the road connecting to the highway um and once that happened then the blue vehicle behind you there um one of my partners there honked his horn at the bike unit i believe um and held it down for a about three second interval. Um, once that continued on, um, he then, the bike unit, flipped around and pulled the blue vehicle over. Of course, us being buddies, we just pulled over all three of our vehicles. And then he came up to the blue window, went ahead and asked for info. He was asking what he got pulled over for, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I couldn't really hear from the highway noise, of course. Um, and then continuing on, he came up to my vehicle because I started doing a. Uh, I was trying to uh, just yeah, kick, kick up some dust, honestly. Yeah, I, I'm explaining. I'm explaining that. I'm not gonna lie about it. I kicked up some dust into his face. He came up to my window, asking me to identify. I started pulling off a bit, and then after that, um, we basically I got out and started talking to him. And we haven't had any issues with that. We're just trying to get out of here and go to the city. And we're a little bit upset because it feels like, uh, you know, just overall, it's a sucky situation here. Okay, my turn? Well, here's the thing. You made it... Yeah, yeah, it's your turn. Okay, from what I picked up, it seems like it would have went a lot easier. One, you wouldn't have done that behavior in your vehicle, correct? Because then they wouldn't have had a reason to walk up and talk to you in the first place, correct? Yep. Okay, so... Seems like a lot of a you situation with you putting yourself in it. So I say the best thing to do is everyone gets back in their car, keeps their vehicles off. We get the license, we run it. And as long as everything's good and nothing has been breached to the point of no return, I think everyone can move along here. Yeah, but let me explain the these two vehicles and me weren't the original traffic stop. It's just this blue vehicle. But that's unfortunate because go, you put you off. put yourself okay. in the situation by doing what you nope. did. I, I, okay. If a bigger rock okay. would have so got kicked up and hit him in the face, you would have been looking at a way worse charge. You understand that, right? Yep. Okay, so yep. that's so why we, I'm saying if we remain on the scene. Let me how about we'll, you let me dictate two. what goes on, okay? So, it I'm seems like, okay, that's fine, but let me just, that's what I'm saying, let me dictate it, so that way it goes a lot easier, instead okay. of you asking okay. the question, it's not a board game. So, you get back, you, we, we, we have this guy's license, right, in the white shirt, in front of us? No. Okay, no, they don't. do me a favor, get your, okay, give it your license out for me, is it in your pocket? Yeah, I have a gun on my side, it's not okay. That's fine, yeah, just get your license. Okay. There you go. Hand that to whoever was asking for it in the first place. Okay, it got given to me. So uh, his yeah. name's Josh Apple. Oh, okay. So if someone wants to just run it, jo Josh Apple, normal spelling, J O S H A P P L E. Okay, I appreciate that. So now that I got your ID, do we have this guy in the blue car's ID? 
Officers. No, we don't. Okay, go ahead and uh, let's get that, since I'm pretty sure he'll be cooperative too. And then once I do that and get those IDs, I assume these two gentlemen sitting on the rock have absolutely nothing to do with this and have minded their own business the whole time, correct? Yep. Okay. So go ahead, uh, Edward, if you want to go ahead and kick those guys loose, they can go ahead and head on to the city and you can tell them their buddies will meet there as soon as I get done here. Yes, sir. Sounds good. Alrighty. Alright, so if you want to get back in your car, sir, that way you're not out in the doing? elements, you're more than welcome to do that. All right, sounds good. All right, thank you. All right. That is how so, we handle it. Supervisor's here. He's gotten everything kind of figured out on what's going on. Um, you coming out yeah, absolutely. If, uh, if you guys want to go ahead and just jump back in your car, um, that way that we can start getting I can't this all hear cleared you. up. And they're going to meet over. you. All right, go ahead. Oh. <laughs> he just tripped on a cactus. They were gonna all take off and start racing, so I was like, "God, oh, let's pull them over before they start doing that. And if they take off, I'll catch up with them and everything like that." Because it seemed like they were doing a slow roll to do a race or something like that. Because I see like four cars and they're just doing 30 miles an hour down this on ramp, and it was just getting crazy. I go up and I approach this guy in the blue car. He's like, "You got no reason to stop me and everything." And then this guy in the yellow car starts kicking up the dirt and everything, and then he gets out and we start having a civilized conversation. I just told him straight up, you know, respect's a two-way street with basically everybody that's working the road tonight. It, that didn't gonna, seem like a civilized I'll conversation. <laughs> me, so if you're going to do the BS, I know the law, Thank you, sir, not, right back. you don't have the right to stop me and not give me the ID, then I'm going to give you a hard time, too, especially when you're kicking up dirt in my face. And I'm going to ask you out of the car, because, you know, if you're going to act like a jackass, you're going to be treated like a jackass. And, you know, nobody gets a free pass, and if they get, I told him straight up, if he had given me his ID or the guy in the blue car giving me his ID, they would have been out of here 30 minutes ago. But now they're making this a whole big thing. I check the guy in the yellow car's ID, he comes back clean and clear, the car comes back registered to him. I don't know about the guy in the blue car, but I straight up told him they would have gotten a warning if they had just cooperated. And I appreciate you coming out and I appreciate you taking control of the scene because they were basically stating that they were not going to talk to anybody or show any ID until the super was out here, so. Yeah, well, that's no biggie. It just... When I walked up, it didn't seem like it was a civil conversation, so that's kind of why I acted the way I acted. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. I completely understand you took control of it the best way you could. Uh, finally but I mean, everyone was calm at the end, though, so that's all that matters. <laughs> like, yeah, I pulled up and he started yelling. I was like, whoa, I'm just trying to figure out what's going on. As soon as he heard that I was being nice, he flipped up and was like, all right, I'll talk to you, so... But then I had to run back here and move my truck, so and that's when you pulled up. Yeah, but I mean, it's one of those situations where he would have been perfectly fine like his buddies if he wouldn't have kicked up that dirt. And as soon as he did that, he set himself yep. in a situation where he opened the door. You know, don't leave, don't don't set a door there in the first place if you don't want someone to knock on it. So. Exactly. Couldn't have set it better myself. Okay. Um, all right, so I'm gonna let the guy in the yellow car go. I think you'll be good to clear off, and I think we're gonna get let the guy in the blue. Yeah, I think that's the best outcome here. I appreciate it. You guys too, alright? Alright. See ya. See ya. Alright, so that worked out pretty well. I would say that was very good. Hi man, you have a good one. Okay, so at this moment we are clear from this call. I think that was actually a really good one. Uh, you know, we had it sometimes you gotta get on scene and really... You gotta handle that bitch, because if they're handling the officers, and it's just a shit show, then, uh, sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do, you know what I mean? And I think we did what we had to do. That was a very aggressive pull out into traffic, okay. I wasn't even that aggressive. Go, go, go. But that's gonna be a perfect ending point. I think we had a good amount of calls on that one. Let me see if I can sneak in here without killing any cones. Nice. Uh, but that's going to be a perfect ending spot. We're just going to stop here. I think that was perfect. So thank you all so much for coming out and watching another episode. I think that the pursuit we had 
The uh, 71 request, they got a little choppy at some points, but nonetheless, they uh, definitely worked out in our favor. Uh, mitigating situations and just kind of getting people off. If they really want to fight whatever thing an officer is trying to do, because there's nothing that I can do anyways on the field. So it's just kind of one of those situations where you really got to fight it in court because there's going to be nothing we can do on the side of the road. And if there's nothing going on, you might as well just cooperate, especially if you're going to go ahead and kick rocks into someone's face. So you know what they say. But thank you all so much for coming out and watching another episode of DOJRP, and we will see you next video.